Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll be showing you how to use the proxy features in Telegram Rocket. And we will be having this feature in our next coming update. So stay tuned guys. And without further ado, let's get started. So once you have opened the Telegram Rocket software, uh, what we have to do is go to the file setting. And below down here, as you can see, is the new proxy feature uh, where you can insert your host IP, your port number, depending on the service provider. These two information will be given by your proxy provider and as well as the username and the password which you have registered with your proxy provider. All right. So uh, why do we need proxy? All right. And I'm going to go through all this. And if you want to hide your IP address or automate a large number of tasks like scrapping or adding, you probably need proxy. For example, um, if you are managing a lot of social account and without proxy, your account will get shut down really fast because social media like Instagram or Facebook nowadays, they are really experienced in preventing automated activity. So, so how does it work actually? Uh, how does proxy work? Let's say if you are visiting a website and by default, you know that your public IP is visible to others. So what you can do is you can employ a proxy which acts like a middleman that sends a request to the website to get data and retrieve data from the server without exposing your real IP. Basically, it's trying to mask your IP from the actual IP. And if you are comparing proxy uh, to VPN, I can say that personally, I use VPN and some social media or services uh, that actually can detect that you are actually using VPN, but not with proxy. So I think in my opinion, proxy is more reliable. And like myself, um, I use not VPN and you have to understand that there are 100 million of users right out there using NordVPN as well. And you can't always guarantee that the IP from the NordVPN that you are connecting has never been used before. And some IP are unclean and uh, also blacklisted. And then uh, if you look at the advantages of proxy, uh, where you can actually hide uh, your actual locations that you are connecting from, uh, depending which proxy server you are connecting and is also very useful for automating repetitive stuff like scrapping and adding all right so and then we also have rotating proxy so what actually is rotating proxy uh, is a proxy that actually uh, assign a new fresh ip at a regular interval by your proxy provider and which means that your ip will keep constantly changing uh, at a specific intervals like 5 minutes or 10 minutes and um, so that you won't get blocked all right, when you are uh, doing uh, automated stuff. All right, so uh, basically this is why do you need proxy all the time when you are scrapping and adding, okay? And let's, let's see how this thing works, all right? So first, uh, I'm gonna gonna connect to my proxy servers. So here is the uh, host IP and the port, All right? So I'm gonna fill out my password. If uh, all right, so once you have uh, fill out the basic informations, then you hit on save. And you can see if you have successfully connected to the proxy IP, uh, this will show up. And if you uh, mistype anything, and probably you, you will get error. And this, then you have to go all the way back to change everything again. So now I have my proxy connecting to the proxy servers. Um, uh, then what I have to do is I'm gonna add some number here all right so 
uh, I'm gonna click on add new and go gonna fill out my full number uh, API ID and hack alright so right now I'm gonna fill up all this form uh, I actually have prepared uh, my full number API as well as hash if you have no idea how to get this make sure to go through my previous video where I actually show this all this thing already and then copy this first lastly this one as well now we click on save and here's your login code 39909 all right so we actually have connected our telegram account to this software so what we have to do now is we need to add some member to the group all right so before you add some member make sure you always scrap first and I actually have scrapped myself previously and if you don't see the members.csv file where it's actually contain all the member list that you have scrapped if you don't see this file make sure you go scrap first before you click on add alright so right now uh, I'm going to show you my group alright so we click on this number and we click on add Alright, so on the right side, you can see members start to invite to this group. Okay. You can, as you can see, the adding process has begun. So now we stop for a while. And uh, I just want to show you that right now you are actually using the proxy ip to perform this process instead of your local ip how can we know that we are actually using proxy ip we can always make sure that by going to the setting and you look all the way down okay here privacy and security and you click on the show all sessions and you can see this is the proxy ip we just connected to a few moments ago if we click on it 85 31 54 51 and 211 which is this one so when you are connecting to proxy ip and this is the proxy ip which is totally different from your local ip and this mean that you are actually running in a different environment and this video will be released on our next update stay tuned guys hope you guys enjoy this video make sure to subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the future i really appreciate that thanks and bye